pick it up. If you have toast or a bagel, we'll be starting our event, the virtual taking care of business breakfast in exactly four minutes. Now to try to keep up a little bit with tradition, let's start off and I say try to keep up a little bit. And so we don't have Facebook cut us off along the way because we are going out and streaming to Facebook live. I'll start with this. You get up every morning from your alarm clock's warning. Take the 815 into the city. There's a whistle up above and people pushing, people shoving, and all the girls are trying to look pretty. Okay, so Facebook won't cut that off because that's nothing like it. So a couple of minutes and we'll be up and running. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to all 108 participants who registered to join us for this breakfast online. I am truly both happy and excited to welcome you live from Penticton, British Columbia to the sixth annual Pathways 100 Taking Care of Business Breakfast. Registered. Okay, by now, it's actually a brunch. <laughs> and it's a brunch and it's the virtual version. Live from My name is David Hansen, and many of you may recognize me from previous live events. I currently serve on the Pathways Board of Directors, and I've been connected to Pathways Clubhouse for over 17 years. Today, behind the scenes, we have Mike Tibbles, Pathways Clubhouse member, who's acting as our moderator for this webinar version of our special event. Prior to the onset of this worldwide pandemic, Many of those living with mental illness struggled with feelings of loneliness and isolation. Now, for many, those feelings are truly heightened by fear as we've been asked to focus more at washing our hands 
and wearing masks out in public. Okay, so maybe I won't be wearing this one today while grocery shopping at Save On Foods might cause a bit of a stir. We are being asked by our health officials and various levels of government to stay home and to self isolate where and wherever possible, when and wherever possible, all in a focused effort to help reduce and stop the spread of COVID-19. Certainly is a paradigm shift and a challenge for millions around the globe. It is a time of particular struggle for our members. Thankfully, Pathways Clubhouse members and staff have truly risen to face this challenge and our new reality. And so today we want to take a few moments to say thank you and to celebrate all of the work and effort that continues to be supported by you. You as employers, as businesses, and as our greater community at large. Since this particular event began six years ago, Heather Bray Builders has generously been our breakfast sponsor, our sponsor. And well before that, since the early 90s, a regular employer at Clubhouse and of Clubhouse members. So please, at this time, join me in welcoming Dave Knight of Heather Bray Builders. Dave. Greetings, Pathway Hello supporters. It's my honor to introduce the sixth annual Taking Care of Business Breakfast. My name is Dave Knight from Heather Bray Builders. We are a fairly large Richmond-based construction company with several employees. We have supported Pathways Clubhouse for 25 years now. We have hired a couple of hundred members over the years in both transitional and supportive employment positions. As an employer, I have seen how mental health issues can affect my employees and our business as a whole. I hope that with guidance from organizations like Pathways Clubhouse, employers can help to ease the stigma associated to mental health and let their workers know that mental health issues will be treated with care, respect, dignity, and job security. Obviously, in these very, very difficult times, we better pay attention to our mental health and remember to support each other as much as possible. I want to thank Pathways Clubhouse for their excellent work, and I wish you all the best in physical and mental health. Enjoy the virtual free breakfast did not supply you. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you very much, Dave, for your greetings and for your continued support and sponsorship. So far, the uh, event appears to be going very well from my perspective out here in, well, it's not quite sunny Penticton, BC, and I hope it's going uh, the same for you. So Pathways Clubhouse in Richmond is part of a broader community working toward mental wellness. There are nearly, if you didn't know, 300 clubhouses in over 30 countries around the globe that continue to offer hope and opportunities to those living with mental illness. Representing Clubhouse International, I'd now like to introduce Joel Corcoran, who's the Executive Director of Clubhouse International, to say a few words and bring some greetings. Joel. Good morning. My name is Joel Corcoran. I'm the Executive Director of Clubhouse International. I'm very happy to be with you this morning at your Taking Care of Business Breakfast. On behalf of Clubhouses across the globe and the staff and Board of Directors of Clubhouse International, I want to say congratulations to Pathways Clubhouse for this breakfast. We're so happy that you're having it anyway, even though you have to do it virtually. And to all of you that are attending, you couldn't be supporting a better cause. Pathways is an extraordinary clubhouse. It's been helping people living with mental illness for years and years. We have a lot of respect for the work that you all do, and we wish you a very good breakfast today. Thank you very much, Joel. I appreciate the greetings offered by Clubhouse International. Um, Mike, thanks. Looks like it's running smooth from my perspective. That's great. And so to keep rolling with our program this morning, I'd now like to introduce Caitlin Norman, a Pathways Clubhouse member uh, to speak to and about our employees. I'll turn the floor over to Caitlin. Caitlin, over to you. Good morning, my name is Caitlin Norman and I am a member of Pathways Clubhouse. 
I am here to celebrate the many employers who have partnered with us to provide employment opportunities for our members. I myself have worked on these jobs and for me the experience have been really great. I learned a lot. So thank you to Lundell Seafood, City Center Community Center, City of Richmond, Coast Social Enterprises, Heather Ray Builders, the Gear Pelling Insurance Agencies, Mass and Co, McDonald's Ironwood, McDonald's Lansdowne, Stevenson Medicine Shop, Mineru Senior Center, Mother's Choice Products, Richmond Art Center, Richmond Chinese Community Society, Richmond City Hall, Richmond Food Bank Society, Stacy Green Catering, and Sword Firm Management. So, thank you. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Uh, next up on the agenda, we'd like to bring greetings or I'd ask to introduce uh, Jessica Berglund, the chairperson for Pathways Clubhouse Board of Directors, to bring greetings on behalf, uh, on behalf of our board. Uh, Jessica, over to you. Good morning and welcome to our sixth annual Taking Care of Business Breakfast and our first virtual breakfast. Big thanks to Heatherbury Construction for sponsoring this event. Enjoy your morning. Thank you. Thanks, Jessica. Your comments are greatly appreciated in your greetings. Next, we really want to acknowledge uh, the City of Richmond. And special thanks to our Mayor, the Councillors and City staff for their ongoing support in all the work we do. And at this time, I'd like to turn the floor over and introduce uh, His Worship, Mayor Malcolm Brody. Your Worship, over to you. Stand by while we experience a moment. Hello, I'm Malcolm Brody. I'm the mayor of the city of Richmond. These are really unusual times with the international pandemic, but we will get through it and we'll do it together. One of the supporters of the community I know that we can count on is the Pathways Clubhouse. And I want to wish all the best for the coming year to David Donald and the great crew of people over at Pathways. We count on Pathways for support. We work with them on employment and we knew they do just a great job. So congratulations to the Pathways Clubhouse. Thank you, Mayor Brody, and thanks to all the councillors and city staff for your ongoing support. Uh, next in our morning agenda, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Tanya Wheatley. And Tanya is the Program Director for Pathways Clubhouse, and she has a few uh, words for us, special words, about our community supporters. Tanya, over to you. Hello everyone, good morning. I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge and thank all the individuals and businesses that have supported our clubhouse over the years. Without these important partnerships, our community wouldn't be where it is today. So I would like to thank the following. Good morning, my name is Caitlin Norman. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you can't have an event like this without some technical difficulties. So please stand by while we scroll up the particular video. Maybe it's a good time to grab some coffee. Have a quick sip. All right, I'd like to thank Sergeant Stephanie Ashton, M. Bouchard, Catherine Bousquet, Jan Brady, Stephen Chang, Gary Chu, Avery Chung, Winnie Chung, Earl Clapp, Elizabeth Clark, Courtney Cohen, Conway Richmond, Jeremy Caldwell from CPG Systems Incorporated, Cowell Auto Group, 
Sam Korea Bilo Foods, Michelle Cupid, Sylvain Dang, Martin Dash, Josh, Jocelyn Dinglison, Glenn Dudar West Shore Terminals, Kathleen Ferry, Jose Flores, Jeffrey G, Gilmore Park United Church, Jennifer Grant, Lisa Grismiel, Melanie Guerrero Fong, Bill Hardbottle from Jim Pattison Auto Group, Jackie Ho, Save On Foods Limited Partnership, Sukaina Jaffer from the Isla Islamic Academy, Carrie Joshimsky, Susan Johnson, Chief Dave Jones from the Metro Vancouver Transit Police, Wendy Carrick, Emmy Lai, Keith Lamb, Cindy Lambier, Jim Pattison Foundation, Debbie Lung, Catherine Lindsay, Rosalie Lung, Tina Ma from Bench 1775, Janet Ma, Joanne Malish, Yvonne Marinkis, Dave Morris from Canadian Fishing Company, Superintendent Will Ng, Richmond RCMP, Alan Nicol from Canadian Forest Products Limited, Pam Nijar, Camfisco, Dan Namira from Camfisco, Mike Namira from Facebook, Peter Olson, The News Group, Mark Patrick, Patterson Broadcast Group, Risa Power from Richmond Day, Jewish Day School, Jeff Richards, Patterson Outdoor Advertising, Richmond Health Department, Richmond News, Richmond Public Library, Richmond RCMP, Ian Ricketts from Ocean Brands, Mikan Rong, Roses Angels, Keela Society of Richmond, Rotary Club of Richmond, Garrett Ruiz, Mike Rush from Jim Pattison Lease, South Arm United Church, the Richmond Sunrise Rotary, Marion Smith, Winnie Smrecker, Steveston Medicine Shop, Wendy Torres, Jackie Tang, Vancouver Metropolitan Lions Club, Randall Waldron, Corey Webb, Pattison Sign Group, and Rosa Wu. So thank you all once again for supporting our community. We can't do it without you. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. As I was uh, sitting with you folks at home or at the office, wherever you happen to be, watching the list scroll and scroll and scroll, um, I really sort of got a great appreciation uh, for the volume and the number of people and the number of groups that continue to uh, support pathways in a variety of different ways. So uh, with Tanya and with on behalf of pathways, I do want to say thanks as well. Next on our agenda, keeping rolling along because, well, I'm not wearing my watch today, uh, but keeping rolling right along because we do like to stay on time. Uh, we do receive uh, support from a number of levels of government. And so representing our provincial government at this time, I would like to introduce Teresa Watt, the MLA for Richmond North Center. Teresa. I'm Teresa Watt, BC Liberal MLA for Richmond North Center. I would like to extend a very heartfelt thank you to Pathways Clubhouse and Dave, not only for your invitation today, but for everything your supporters, staff, and volunteers are doing to continue the services and operations of your organization during this trying time. By continuing to provide members with a supportive environment, a sense of community, and the resources they need to better themselves, you are giving people a sense of hope and proving that together we can overcome any challenge. I hope to be able to meet <coughs> all in person someday, but for now, please accept this virtual greeting and a very big thank you for everything you do. Thank you very much, Teresa. We uh, appreciate your greetings and your comments regarding hope because it's times like these, we do have to always remain hopeful. Uh, without further ado, next 
On our agenda for presenting, uh, I'd like to introduce Colin Wong, who is the program manager uh, for Pathways Clubhouse. Uh, Colin, over to you. Thanks, David. Just like to say hi to everybody um, that's watching, whether you're overseas, from your bedroom, from your washroom, wherever you may find yourself uh, these days. Um, so it's my honor to present this year's Star of Pathways to uh, uh, Kelly Mack. Kelly was our main contact at the City of Richmond. His efforts were immense in finding the right placements and right champions um, for our TE positions. Kelly has since retired, uh, but his passion for inclusion can still be seen and felt to this day. So Kelly, this certificate from the International Star Registry officially redesignates the star Leo to the name Kelly Mack. It is my hope that one day you'll see this star, your star, while lying on a beautiful beach in Hawaii, whenever that may be. So on behalf of our organization, our staff, and most importantly, our members, mahalo. So lucky enough, Kelly has, um, is able to join us today. So let me just give my, uh, get my physical distance in order here and I'll go grab Kelly. Thank you for the recognition. When I started the City of Richmond Inclusive Employment Program in 2016, my first assignment was to work with Pathways Clubhouse in developing four positions. I knew very little about Pathways and their transitional employment program. However, I was passionate about how I could help make the city a more inclusive workplace. After a few months of working with Pathways and city staff, we were able to create four roles uh, within the city. To this day, those roles have been proven to be important parts of getting the work done. The city is providing a safe and meaningful experience to Pathways members by supporting them to ease back into the workforce while the benefits to the city are countless. Staff are much more understanding of people with various challenges and are valued like any member of the team. It has been a most positive and rewarding experience to be part of while I was at the city. I highly recommend other employers to become involved in such a successful and rewarding program. Great, thank you very much, Kelly. Thanks for uh, all your, your hard work. Back to you, David. Thanks, Colin, and thanks, Kelly. Uh, truly appreciate it, uh, and congratulations on being awarded the uh, Star of Pathways. Uh, next. Uh, on our event list is a man who needs no introduction. The man, the myth, the legend. I turn the floor over to Dave McDonald. Good morning. Thank you, Dave. I don't know how this works. Is this going now? It is? Okay, great. I can't tell. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, David. Um, so what has happened? I, I'm here to share what's happened in the, this last few weeks uh, when uh, we had to make a decision. It was on Monday, March 16th. At lunchtime, we had to announce to our members and staff that we had to close our building. We all kind of felt numb at that time, like, what do we do now? This just doesn't make sense. But it's immediately and obvious to our clubhouse members and staff that we need to be true to what, who we are and what we believe. And we keep on talking about this and sharing it and, and we, we stay true to it that our clubhouse building is closed, but our community is open. So within a day, we created a, a, a clubhouse virtual Facebook site. Uh, we're immediately connected with our members in the community. And, and since then, each day we start off in the morning with our weather report and announcements of what's going to be happening that day. Uh, we quickly start doing live feeds of wellness activities, both physical and mental, such as yoga, stretching, mindfulness, uh, chair aerobics. Practical feeds like how do you use Zoom? Uh, how do you use Facebook Live? 
uh, stuff that dealt with the government providing benefits to our members during this difficult time and fun stuff as well, like what's happening in the entertainment world and a variety of different challenges that uh, our members and staff participated in, which was fun. At the same time, like many other folks did, we opened up a Zoom account and uh, we want to get back to our, our routine of engaging our, our, our members and staff in our work. And so we started every morning now, we have morning meetings with all members and staff. The units uh, break off into member and staff meetings and then we have weekly decision meetings as well too. A big part of our clubhouse community is our, our lunch program and, and a lot of our members relied upon it. And so um, during this difficult time, they have difficulty cooking on their own or can afford it. So once again, we started doing uh, deliveries to, to our members at home, making sure that they got their meals safely as well. And although we felt isolated during this time, I don't think we've ever been so connected with the worldwide Clubhouse community and the wonderful work that Clubhouse International has done to keep us connected and, and giving us new and creative ideas of, of how we can still engage our members and help them with their mental and physical wellness. And so we've been doing all this sort of stuff. And, and, and a little while ago, when we made the announcement that we had to cancel our taking care of business breakfast, we thought, you know, we don't need to go to a hotel. Let's do what we're doing at the clubhouse. Uh, you know, our, the hotel building might be closed, but our clubhouse community is still open. And so we didn't want to miss this chance to thank all of our employers and supporters for all the great work they, they, they do uh, for, for us in this past year. And so that's where we are today. And I want a, a big shout out to our, our committee to make this happen. To you, David Hansen, to Mike Tibbles, uh, Hope Lee and Janine Lockhart, Lockhart and all the members and staff and board have been involved in, in putting this event on. Um, and normally during this period of time, uh, during our business breakfast, we have a member who shares a story what Pathways has, has done for them. Uh, but what we've decided to do is do a short one minute video of showing uh, you, our, our community, what our clubhouse community has been doing these past several weeks. And so a video uh, has been created and uh, over to you Mike to, to show the video. So while Mike's spooling up the, oh, there we go. We miss you, wish you could be here. You come from outer space. Here we go. My screen. Oh, there we go. My screen shrunk up. We can't have this without having technical difficulties. My goodness. That's all right. You know what? Hopefully things are running smooth and we're still back out there. My screen disappeared for a minute. I don't know if it went to sleep. So typically uh, this would be the time in our presentation where I'd come uh, to what we typically call the ask. Uh, however, I recognize and we recognize that there's a number of people that are, are struggling financially during this time. And so really what I want to do is look at 
uh, and just review some of the things so you're aware that are continuing uh, within the Pathways Clubhouse community. And Dave touched on those things, and I do want to acknowledge and say thanks again to Janine Locker for putting together that video to give you a sense of what's going on. I will encourage you as well, um, while Facebook or Pathways uh, virtual Facebook page is open only to staff members and Clubhouse members, uh, you can view and get over to our Facebook site and to the web page to see some of those events that are getting shared over to those pages, the uh, public facing uh, pages as well. So I would encourage you to do that if you want to see some of those things that are happening live within the uh, Pathways Clubhouse environment. So since mid-March, um, Dave talked about some of the things that have been done within the Clubhouse. The numbers uh, have continued to grow uh, currently there's 35 members receiving uh, daily lunch delivered uh, to their doors by our Caring Kitchen staff. And I think Dave's doing some of those deliveries himself too. Uh, Pathways virtual Facebook site is open to those clubhouse members, as I said, and staff. And they currently have 172 regular followers. They've done 26 separate live feeds. And I know some of those live feed events have made it over to the regular site and are worth checking out. There have been 102, and this is as of, these are stats uh, as of last week, 102 postings on that particular site. Through Zoom, uh, Pathways also hosts each week 23 separate meetings. And those meetings are bringing together staff and members to discuss unit work, decision making, and to offer fitness classes, fitness in your home or workplace. So all those things are absolutely wonderful as I've watched them uh, from here in Penticton and I'm completely happy. I want to acknowledge the flexibility and resilience of Pathways Clubhouse staff and members who are coming together to care for and support each other and support the community at large during these particularly challenging times. Support uh, has a synonym, synonym, boy, that wasn't too difficult. Help in the dictionary. And Cambridge Dictionary defines help as to make it possible or to make it easier for someone to do something by doing part of the work yourself or providing advice, money, or support. It also is something that helps a difficult or painful situation. It improves or makes it easier or less painful. This is a reminder to you and for you that Pathways remains here to help. As always, if you or someone that you know and love and care about needs help, please, feel free to reach out to us. Unfortunately, in this time, it's challenging because we can't do it in person. We're always willing to be there to offer our help and support. And so now, feel free to pick up the phone, uh, give Pathways a call. Connect with us via the website or any one of our means of social media. Maybe during these difficult times, there is something that you personally or perhaps your organization can offer in kind, because it's often we forget about those in kind things that we're able to do to help Pathways out as they look to face the challenges of the months ahead. So I leave that to you completely. I just ask that you give it some thought in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you very much. Um, just a report and reminder that, uh, you know, while we live, work, and support locally, we need to continue to think globally. And what I would do is thank you uh, for coming out and participating in this event today. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in person in the not too distant future. And I'm going to say, please stay safe, stay healthy, both physically and mentally. And with our best wishes, two thumbs up to you for all your support and two thumbs up for Pathways Clubhouse. Have a great day, folks. Enjoy.
Mike, back over to you to shut her down. <laughs>